Today we're going to show you how to change a pump on an HMAX. This is the pump replacement kit. It has a bearing housing, a new pump, nuts and bolts to fit the pump, 27 inch rubber belt, pump tensioner, a spring holder. The first thing we need to do is to remove the bottom plate from the HVAC. To do this, we have one bolt there and one bolt there. We come around to the back side of the HMAX, we need to tip it up, and we have two there, two there. Once the oil has been drained, you need to remove the pallet. Tip the machine. The next step is to remove the pump. The next thing we need to do is remove the belt. Using the Stanley blade, cut the belt. The next thing to do is to remove these springs. Try anyway. The next thing we need to do will be to replace the old pump belt tensioner plate with this new one. We don't need to do that because we have already fitted it and this plate here will replace the old one that you have on here. The next thing we need to do is to remove the pump pulley. To do this we need a 3mm allen key we need to extract this and the one up there. I will do that now. Wind, wind them right out. pulley off we need to get one of these screws and place it into the center one this helps extract the pulley from the pump The next thing we need to do is to remove the pump. To do this, we need to remove these four 10 mil bolts. So you will need a 10 mil socket, 10 mil spanner, The next step is to replace the old pump. Take that off. Once the pump is bolted back into place, get a bit of tissue, 
wipe off any excess oil on the pulley. Now this needs to be put back onto the pump. Hold it in place and then do these two screws up with the three mil Allen key that you use to take it off. Make sure they're nice and tight. And then go back to this one and just retighten it. To make things easier to get the belt back on, remove this bolt, which is a 14 mil. This will make putting the belt on a lot easier. Now, put the belt over the pump pulley. Push it onto the bottom and then turn until it's securely on. Replace this washer and then we're ready to put the springs on. Now to put the springs on, put this spring on first. These can be a little bit tight. Hook it over the top of there. And we need to pull down on there. It might take a couple of attempts, but it will go on. Then we'll move to the top spring. Like that. And that is the pump replaced, the belt replaced, and at the same time you will replace this and this in the kit that you get. Next but we replace the bottom plate. Before we attach the lower pipe to the pump, you may need to loosen this. Just loosen that slightly so that then we can get this pipe. Once we've got that hand tight, we'll tighten the top pipe back up. Don't over tighten them. Then tighten this one. And then move to the pipe at the back of the pump. Tighten this one. And slightly tighten this with a ratchet gun. Tighten it with a spanner. Double check all your connections and then 
this cap, place it, remove it, and put the hydraulic oil back in here. 